Welcome back, my beloved students. Let us continue our lesson. Now, the next box that we're going to look at, or the next area that we're going to focus on, symptoms. What are the symptoms of COVID-19? Do you know? Use your electronic device. Ask mommy, ask daddy, ask your big sister, ask your big brother, and let me know. What you saying? Sachel, I think Sachel are on the right path. Timothy, yes, man, you're correct. Let us check the answers. Okay, for the symptoms of COVID-19, fever, dry cough, shortness of breath, those are the mild symptoms, right? But when it becomes severe, it can lead to pneumonia, kidney failure, and sadly, death, right? So we we'll have to be careful. Okay, let us move on. So let us talk about the spread of the virus. How come so many people get this COVID-19? And so we're going to look at an infographic that was developed by a wee man cow. She's from Singapore, and she has allowed us to use our infographic to inform you, to inform me, because even though it's an infographic, adults learn from infographics too, so that it can be simplified the information so we don't need to know about the technical but it is simplified for us to understand so let us go through this infographic that speaks about the spread of corona virus there is only one thing you need to understand about how a corona virus spreads the virus spreads when these droplets hmm, from a sick person get into your eyes nose mouth so if you're a healthy person, you will get the virus. So if you see someone who is visibly coughing, sneezing, sick, sick, you can choose to keep your distance, right? At least two meters. It should keep you safe from large droplets. Or you can give them a mask so that they can cough or sneeze into it and protect everyone else nearby. So it's usually recommended that the sick person wears the mask. And in general, it is a good idea to avoid crowds because you do not know who might be sick. People who are infected can show no symptoms but are still infectious. Maybe she's not sick, she's just protecting herself. Somebody might think that. However, sometimes a sick person Saliva can get on other things. Their hands, doorknobs, train traps, pen, chopstick, mouse, tissue, lift buttons, cups, stair banisters, digital devices, right? And even on the outside of your face mask. Hmm. And if you touch any of these things by accident, then touch your face, rub your eyes, or your loved one's face, you might all fall sick. So do you see how the coronavirus is spread? Viruses can last for quite a few hours on objects. So, and the only effective way to get rid of them is to wash them off with soap, bleach, or alcohol. I hope you're hearing that. So let us look at the next box that we're going. We're going to talk about the spread. So we just saw an infographic that speaks about the spread of the virus. Do you remember what was said? Yes, I hear you. Very correct. So here we have the answer. So the spread, when the sick person's cough droplets get into your eyes, nose, and mouth, right? Touching surfaces that have the virus, then putting your hands in your face. And especially if you do not wash your hand or if you engage in improper hand washing because just putting your hand under the water without no soap and just doing a little like that, that's not proper hand washing. So let us look at, do you remember what was the value for this lesson? Cleanliness. Can I hear you say it again? Cleanliness. All right. Why is this value important for our lesson of COVID-19? Cleanliness is the first law of health. You know Jamaica have a mantra that says cleanliness is next to godliness because what god don't do dirty 
right? And cleanliness helps us to keep our body clean. So you know, you must figure out what the word means by now. Because the first part of the word is clean. So cleanliness is basically having yourself clean, having your areas clean, right? So persons who incorporate the value of cleanliness into their daily life. They like to keep themselves clean. They like to keep their environment clean. They like to see others clean, right? And so it is important for us, in, especially in this COVID pandemic, to have the value of cleanliness. Now I want you to ask yourself this reflective question. Why is cleanliness important in helping to protect myself and others from COVID-19? I want you to read the question with me again. Ready? Why is cleanliness important in helping to protect myself and others from COVID-19? Think about it. Why is it important? Okay? Share your answers with mommy and daddy. Very good. All right, so we're moving on. Now we're going to look at precautions, right? Another, this is the same infographic that was developed by We Man Co. Now, before we move on, what do you think the term infographic means? All right, just so let us look at the prefix. Prefix info coming from the word information, right? Meaning knowledge about something. Graphics now is something like visual representation, arts, drawings. So you put them together. So basically, Weeman Cow, she developed this infographic where she used art along with words to provide us information about COVID-19. So we're looking at the precautions. So it is very important to follow five precautions in helping us to reduce our risk from COVID-19. One, do not touch your face or anyone else's face. If you have to, wash your hands with soap thoroughly first and ensure that you wash right up to the elbow. Very good. What is thoroughly? Wash the back of your hands, between your fingers, under your nails for 20 seconds. If you go less than that, it means that you have not hand washed properly. So you do the hand washing for 20 seconds. Enough time to sing happy birthday twice. Two, throw away masks once they feel gross. Don't wear them for more than a day. I hope you are hearing this. Bacteria grows on the insides of your mask if you wear them too long. Also, don't touch the outside of the mask if you can. If you did, don't worry. Just wash your hands with soap after. Three, do not share food, utensils, cups, towels. Use a serving spoon. Everyone must get their own towel. Make sure you're not using mommy towel or daddy's towel. Number four, open and close doors with your elbows or shoulders instead of your hands, if possible. You can't touch your face with your elbow, even if you try. Let us see. Is it that difficult to do? <laughs> okay, so that is another precaution. And finally, five. Always wash your hands with soap before you eat and after being out in the public. So those are five precautions that you can take. Let us take another break. When we return, we will look at how healthy self-management skill can help us fight against COVID-19. 